as a truck driver, we spend more time in the truck than our homes. So this is my second home, I can say. We're going to talk about some tips to make life more comfortable for truck drivers while inside the truck. I have two GPS. One is professional, the other one is normal GPS. They have their uses. The professional ones, I use them much inside the city because it shows me low bridges, where I can go, all those things. The other one is for general. If one shuts down, the other one helps. The two of them will not shut down at the same time. There are some locations that the GPS cannot even find. So I use my, comp my telephone, the Google map, the trucker's map. The apps are there for you. So you just download them and they're very useful. In case of any problem, the maps are very reliable. They cover all the cities in North America. Apart from that, I have some maps for the states. Virginia, Mississippi, Kentucky, everything. They are all useful. Now it is easier with GPS. But as I said, don't rely only on GPS. Have your maps as backup. Your maintenance, your food, they all cost money. What I do, I prepare my food from home, my wife prepares everything, and I store them inside the fridge. You have fruit juice, you have mozzarella, you have all sorts of things. You have milk, you have noodles, you have tea, you have bread, you have sugar, and all the stuff. They are all there. They make life easy for me. I have bottles of water, which I bring from home. I have my boiler for my tea in the morning. I have the microwave, which I connect to my inverter when I need it working. Mind you, when I connect to the inverter, I make sure that the engine is working so that it wouldn't drain my battery. <laughs> Telling you this from experience. Now, what are the documentations? We pick up load from the shipper. We have pages to send to fax to our dispatchers. I have printers. This is inkjet. This is lesser. Why are they two? <laughs> In the winter, the inkjet freezes. The ink freezes. So I use lesser which is faster and much better, especially in the winter. So I get your documentations, my bill of lading, my ACE manifest, I, I print it all in the truck. I don't have to stop on the road, going to truck stops, doing all these things. And some truck stops, the machines don't work. You save time, you save money when you have these things in your truck. I have an extra mattress too, <laughs> save here. I am equipped for any eventuality on the way, especially when it's cold. If your truck breaks down, which happens at times, and it's cold, you need to warm up yourself. I have dresses, given by the company, and all the stuff. I have my boot. I have this one too, in case of snow. These are simple things, easy things, which you can have and make life easy for you. At times you go to a shipper, he says you need steel toed shoes. You should love that too. We as truck drivers, we see that most of the time, 12, 14 hours a day, that the muscles got, <laughs> you know, I can't say frozen, but they got stiff. While driving, I do exercise my feet. It seems nothing, but it helps. Then what of my spinal cord, my neck? What I do while, while driving at times, I do like this.
background while focusing on the road anyway. Then when I stop, I spend about five hours, five minutes exercising my muscles like this. I stretch my arms. I go back, then I go forward. I touch my toe, do like this, like this. I turn my neck both ways. I stretch my hands. I try to put my hand at the back by pushing this. They make life better for me physically as a driver. One thing we cannot underrate is the effect of sitting for many hours, the effect it has on our body. You know, a heavy trucker should ensure that their CB radio works. At times you need help with other drivers, you switch it on, you talk to them, and help comes. When I started, well, I didn't know really the importance of trip planning. Now I know. When you plan your trip well, you are less stressed. You even make more mileage, and that is more money. And it is more trouble free. Then uh, I learned from experience that there are some places, I'm sorry to say this, that in the US, you don't park there at night because they are not safe. There was a place I parked sometime in the night, and when I woke up in the morning, my doors on the trailer were open. I was hauling uh, my necks, so they couldn't steal that. When you have to stop, watch where you stop. And if for any reason, you make sure that you pack your trailer in a way that the doors cannot be opened easily. I plan my trip in a way that I drive less in the night. Around 10, 11 in the night, I've already packed. Because most accidents happen between 1 and 4 a.m. in the morning. That is the statistics. So you try to, you know, limit, if you can, the hours spent on driving in the night. Now, uh, during the day, I go on cruise, 96, 98 kilometers an hour. During the night, I have to reduce the speed. Not necessarily on cruise because it depends on the road, on the location. Now, what do you gain by, by driving in the night? You can plan that you drive less in the night for your safety. And you don't lose anything. You still make your mileage, you still make your deliveries, and it's safer. So, guys, these are some ways to make your life more comfortable as a truck driver. See you next time. Drive safe.